is easier for us to walk with god provided we learn to receive grace which means to humble ourselves so now how do we start off first of all we must understand the very fact we are today a people who belong to god is because of his grace you know in those days he had we we had gone to jesus when he was alive physically you and me had been there in jerusalem if i had gone to him and said i want you know some healing he would have said uh, he might have said to me is it right to give children's bread to dogs how would you have felt because the lord jesus christ physical ministry on this earth was for the jews not for the gentiles physical ministry those years he walked this earth he went only for the israelites this has to be understood so much so at one point of time there was a lady a canaanite woman who came to jesus matthew chapter 15 was the 21 to 28 a canaanite lady not a jew and she comes to disciple jesus and the disciple tell jesus send her away she going on pestering us and the lord tell the disciples i have come only for the law sheep of israel he's not telling her he's telling his disciples in other words i'm not going to go to her i have come only for the law sheep of israel then this lady comes to him kneels down lord help me she has a daughter who is demon possessed the lord tells her this time he says in verse 26 is it right to take what belongs to children children's bread and toss it to dogs toss it to dogs and this lady says even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table she commands her woman you have great faith your request is granted praise god and the disciples knew he would only go to the jews so much so what happened one day a few days before he was going to be crucified some greeks go to see jesus they go to philip we want to see jesus now philip knows normally the lord jesus christ will not see the greeks exceptions here and there like the canaanite woman and uh, philip knows he won't see so he goes to andrew why andrew andrew has a ministry of bringing people to jesus peter he brought his own brother so maybe andrew will help he'll convince jesus to see these greeks philip and andrew both together go to jesus now moral support i support you you support me let's go and ask him they tell him some greeks have come to see you, you know what jesus says john 12:23 the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified as if to say so long i have missing only to the jews the hour has come when i'm going to be glorified in other words when i hang on the cross when my blood is shed on the cross in that temple the curtain tear in two from top to bottom and everybody jew or gentile slave nor free male nor female can enter god's holy presence and they shall all be one hallelujah as if to say i'm waiting for the sar waiting for the sar so you have to understand is only because of his blood today we are his children we don't deserve to be his children look at the life of christ how humble you know at the time when he I told you, you know that humility is ultimate expression of pride is rejecting god's word and the ultimate expression of humility is taking god's word at it, at its, at, it, at it as it is without questioning god will esteem us and not you know rejecting god's word enjoying god's word and doing his will completely not hearing but also doing and the lord jesus christ humbled himself became obedient to death even death on the cross so the expression of humility is obedience to god because of which we make ourselves low compared to others 
I look at the way the Lord Jesus Christ, when he entered the world and he was about to be crucified, about to be arrested, you find that uh, Peter could not stand the servant of the high priest among people being arrested. Because the, you know, the Jews are very, very chauvinistic. The male ego is very much there among the Jews. They have the all hierarchical problem. They have got very racist people, even today. And Peter could not stand the servant of the high priest being among the people arresting Jesus. So when he finds the servant of the high priest, Malchus, he's among the people arresting Jesus, Peter takes a sword and cuts off the ear. And Jesus takes the ear puts it back. Can you imagine what a miracle happened? If you're a Roman soldier there, you're taking this man prisoner to the jail, to the authorities, and someone of the disciples cuts off someone's ear, he takes, puts it back and is healed. What to be shocked? A miracle is happening. They were blinded, these people. And the Lord Jesus rebukes Peter. Those who live by the sword will die by the sword. He said, don't you know, if I call upon my father, at once he will at make at my disposal 12 legions of angels who will rescue me from this hour. But how then will scripture be fulfilled which says it must happen this way? Matthew 26 chapter 51 to 54. What an insult for him. Being mocked, flogged. They hit him from behind. They prophesy who hit you. Servant is arresting him. And what temptation does show the power? You know who I am? I'll show you who I am. This is how proud people are. No? See, proud people, I would say the real test of our humility is when you face proud people. When a proud man meets a humble man, he'll become humble. The test of our humility when you face proud people. When a proud man comes and shows us his, his, you know, power on you, what do you think in your heart? I will show you who I am. I can also tell you who I am. That's pride. Okay? So here you find the creator of heaven and earth having humbled and become man and what kind of a man? Being arrested by people, sinful people, about to put between two robbers on the cross, a man of sorrows, familiar with suffering and here the servant is there as I say, I'm also this arresting party. I've come to arrest. Peter couldn't handle it. Peter was also a very proud man. He could never handle uh, you know, other people being getting blessings. And he knew one thing, that these will go to uh, only Jews, because he had three and a half years experience. And then later on, we'll see how that affected his ministry also for some time. And God changed him, as he always changes us. But look at that statement he made. Don't you know, if I call upon my father, at once, 12 legions of angels will come. But then, how will scripture be fulfilled? See, humbling is not weakness. Meekness is not weakness. Meekness is strength under control. Meekness is strength under control. He had the strength to call upon the Father and ask for angels. He had the strength. He didn't do it. He subordinated his will to fulfill the will of the Father. Why? For the joy set before him he endured the cross. You know, if you look at just that statement, he told that lady, I can't give to dogs who belong to children. What do you think? He's a proud man. What does he think about himself? But he's doing the will of the father. Father's will was till the cross to the Jews. After the cross, for everybody. And because of the cross, you and me are in the Lord. And because of what will happen on the cross, Jesus endured the cross. What does that happen after the cross? You and me will be in, with him in heaven forever and ever.